My name is Samantha James and I feel very honored that anyone wants to hear what I have to say about choices. When I was five, my mom got sick. She got cancer. About four and a half years later, um, she fought really hard through that, but she did end up passing away. I remember being in the hospital and just kind of being floored by how well the doctors worked and tried to heal her. And I think ever since that time, ever since I was nine years old, I've always known that I wanted to be a doctor too. In college, I got um, into drinking a lot and having a lot of um, sex with a lot of different men. Eventually, I calmed down, but I still felt like I needed to be bonded to a man to have any worth in life. I moved in with my boyfriend at the time and just really clung to him as much as I possibly could. We lived together for a couple years and I ended up getting pregnant. And I remember thinking, like, oh, like it's over. Like I can't do anything that I wanted to do. I can't go to medical school. And I remember feeling like I was trapped. So I went to my family practice physician and told her that I would like to get an abortion. She, thankfully, by God's grace, was not willing to even really refer me to someone to do that. Then I had a miscarriage a little while later. After I lost the baby, my boyfriend and I broke up. Pretty much everything I had built my life around kind of came shattering down. I didn't have medical school to look forward to. I didn't have a boyfriend to adore me and I didn't have a baby that I had kind of changed my mindset to thinking that I was gonna have and so I didn't know who I was. There was a point where I was afraid I might have an STI or STD um, so I came to Choices to get tested. I walked through the doors really ashamed that I was here for testing um, because it was, in my mind, just a place for bad kids, which is totally not true. And I remember walking in and thinking, this is like a home, you know, there's soft furniture to sit on, it's really comfortable, and the lighting is beautiful, and everything is like very comforting. I went into the offices, and um, Susan was my nurse. She asked me about all of my history. I told her about my miscarriage. I told her about living with my boyfriend and then losing medical school and losing my baby and losing him. And she really like surrounded me with love, even though I'd never met her before. And she really like grieved with me over the loss of my baby, which no one had at that point. A couple weeks after I had had my encounter here at Life Choices, I came back to visit Susan and to potentially see about volunteering. And I met Ashley, who was working the front desk that day. God really used Ashley to show me that my worth is solely in who God created me to be. It's not in my past. And I think that her attitude like, is really all of Life Choices attitude. My name is Samantha James, and currently I am planning a wedding. My fiance Greg and I are gonna get married in September. We are also halfway through medical school on our way to becoming doctors. That's really exciting. The one thing I would want people to know about Life Choices who don't, who don't know anything else, I want them to know that no matter what you've been through, no matter if you've had an abortion in the past or if this is your first time ever having sex and you're scared, they are going to love you just the same uh, and they're not going to judge you on your past. They are just going to make sure that you are taken care of. <laughs>